I think I just found the cheapest mobile gaming solution. Hi there, welcome to another OCD review and today we're going to take a look at the AT&T Octel Ideal and uh, we're going to do an in-depth review and see how good can this $20 phone be. Is it too good to be true? Stay tuned. So a little bit of the specs about this phone. It's a 4.5 inch TFT display, which is about the same size as the iPhone 5. Um, it does have 218 PPI, which is not exactly a retina display, but display looks okay. It doesn't get the best viewing angles when you're watching video, especially in landscape mode. Um, sometimes could be washed out and sometimes could be uh, kind of inverted color. The battery, although it's a little bit small at 1780 milliamps, but it's actually very good battery life. It provides a full day of use and my on-screen time on airplane mode as a media player can go as much as 6 hours. The processor is 1.1 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 210 and it has 1 gigs of RAM. Storage is 8GB with the expandable memory cards, which is an SD card, you can put up to 128GB. Okay, so let's talk about the good and the bad. I like to start with the bad things so we can end with good. Now the first problem is actually kind of annoying uh, since I have OCD, but it's probably not going to be a big deal for you if you don't. The Wi-Fi actually never gets disconnected even during sleep. I actually did the setting in Wi-Fi Advanced and I turn off Wi-Fi during sleep, but this phone actually never disconnects. Could drink a little bit of battery, probably not going to be a big deal for you, but I just would like that work. There's no sensor to turn on the screen when you're on a call, so be sure not to use your face to touch the screen when you're making a call. The phone is made out of plastic, as I said. Um, it's plastic everywhere, even the screen. Uh, it it kind of gets a little squeaky when you're really trying to squeeze it, but not a big deal. The 5 megapixel back shooter does not have a flash, and also it does not have an autofocus, but you're probably not going to use that anyway. It does get okay pictures on the outside with a bright light condition, but in, in low light, no. The other thing I find a little annoying about the screen is actually white balance. The screen does have a little bit of a yellow tint to it when the screen is completely white, which almost looks like a little burn in on the AMOLED display, but it's not really a big deal. The phone does look a little bit ugly in general. Um, it's bulky, it's almost as thick as the iPhone 4. But, I mean, it performs well, and I carry it as a media player. So in the look department, I don't really care about this. The phone does load it with the ATT software on the initial boot up, as you can see, but luckily, they can be disabled. Now let's talk about the good thing about this phone. So, the first thing it's definitely come down to price. I think for $20, uh, I mean, it's almost a no-brainer to buy it. I actually honest have no expectation when I was trying to pick this up. I mean, for $20, you can't even get a $3 sign meals on Yelp. I mean, how, how can you even use this phone? I mean, just thinking about it. But, I mean, it, it works, and it actually works like a charm. I mean, perform well, I mean, play all the games I want. So, very impressed. The battery life is actually surprisingly good. Uh, for a size that small, actually, I still get about five to six hours on airplane mode, playing games, watching YouTube, and browsing the internet. The gaming ability on this phone is actually surprising. I mean, that's one thing that actually blew my mind. On this low-end specs with the Snapdragon 210, although it's a quad-core 1.1, this phone plays every single game I found on Play Store. All the 3D intense game like Asphalt Extreme, Real Racing 3, and Death Trigger 2, they played extremely well with little to no lag. Uh, things like Temple Run 2, you're probably never going to have any problem with it, so just enjoy. There's actually the ability to unlock this phone. Uh, it can be legally unlocked with AT&T device unlock. The steps can be found online. I mean, there's many people explain how to do that. I actually unlocked mine without any problem. And I tried on AT&T network and it works like a charm. Well, the good thing about this is it does have SD card expansion. So if you want to use it as a media player or iPod, you can put as much as 128 gigabytes on the phone, which is nice. The phone does use a little bit outdated software, the Android Lollipop, but it does run on the 5.1.1. I think it's actually more important to use the latest Lollipop rather to use a choppy and buggy Android Marshmallow 6.0, which I feel like it's not a bad thing. 
The phone does support 4G LTE for $20. That's a nice plus. The one gig's RAM actually helped this phone fly. I mean, I usually have problem with the phone using 512 megabytes of RAM, and and those half gig of RAM can really make the phone go slow. But for this. I actually step up the game and give you one gigs of RAM, and that actually make everything possible, which is nice. Another thing is, it does come with a LED notification light. Although it's a white only LED in front, but I mean, there's a lot of high end phones nowadays. They don't really provide a notification light, which is very, very considerate in this case. So, in conclusion, do I recommend this twenty dollar phone? Absolutely. I mean, for twenty dollars, you probably can't even get a proper MP3 players. I mean, this thing can play games, watch all the YouTube's you want, and browse the internet, download all the apps. For the price, I think it's a wonderful gaming device. However, this phone is by no means a high-end device. But for the price, I, I just can't complain. It's a great beater phone. If it breaks, just get a bunch of more. And so for the price, yes, there's a little bit glitch here and there, a little bit of flaws. But I think it's totally worth it. Go out there to your local electronic store and check it out yourself. You'll be amazed. Please like and comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.